Okay, so we're not doing the podcast about preamble, apparently. No, no. We're, no. we're, we're just going to start with a better preamble. Okay. Good afternoon, Naomi Nation. Oh, okay. We're cool. here in Yonkers, New York, canvassing uh, for Jamal Bowman, Yonkin' what, what would you say? Okay, I was going to say, what mm-hmm. would you say we're doing? And I was ready to be disappointed. You I got did, you. You didn't disappoint me I by would, disappointing I would never me. disappoint. Never. <laughs> So yeah, we've actually been out canvassing today. Do you want to it's talk a little a, bit about it's your experience warm. canvassing? It's been very hot. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Surviving so the heat wave. I actually have a stain on my pants now uh, because during, uh, we, we were on like the top of a hill. Mm-hmm. And uh, so uh, Vosh was talking to somebody and I decided to make a joke about, hey, you know, people should go touch grass and vote. Uh, and so I rolled down the hill. Yeah. Just did, <laughs> just did oh my gosh. Grass. How far could you roll? Like some, like we were by some like huge hills. Uh, so it was a it was a median. So oh, I, okay, had a, okay. I had about twenty feet of space. You just like thunk up against the median when you, <laughs> at the bottom. Or like what? <laughs> we had a little bit of space. It's actually on camera. Okay. <laughs> so I guess people have to see how far I rolled there. Roll that footage. Um, but it is roll that footage. <laughs> Absolutely. I am a Sonic fan. I'm I'm okay with these jokes. Um, but I think. The, the, the best part of this so far has been just how friendly everybody's been. Not just the mm-hmm. other content creators and the staff, but also uh, going out and canvassing the people that we have had a chance to talk to have not... It's, it's not been the, um, I guess we call it the ter- terminally online discourse, where yeah. everybody's at each other's throats. That's kind of not been the vibe the entire time, mm-hmm. and I'm, I'm ridiculously happy about that. Yeah, no, like, I, I definitely talk to a lot of people, like, on the kind of streams that I've done, especially when I would do, like, these TikTok live debates where anybody can kind of hop in, but, like, there's a genuine difference in the people you're going to encounter knocking on doors versus randos yeah. on the internet. Like, people are a lot more friendly, a lot more approachable. I mean, it's a great chance to, like, practice socializing, even if you're, if you're kind of new to that. Like, yeah, I, just, I think I, it was a really great experience getting out there, walking around, getting some sun, all of that's, like, really good for you in ways that like it's oh, yeah. hard to quantify get, get some vitamin d <laughs> touch some grass i think mm-hmm. i have some grass in the pocket of my other pants still yeah um, but like really really positive experience overall i, I definitely recommend anyone fun. try it it's been fun i i think it's something i'm planning on doing again mm-hmm. uh, it's definitely especially the effectiveness of it because people who people who are terminally online um whether or not you're going to reach them is just a matter of numbers mm-hmm. but when you go out and you speak with real people who are just you know, sitting on the couch and you get the knock on the door, uh, some of those people might not have been planning to vote in the first place. And you might be the one person that gets them to get up and do that. And if they start having that habit of voting in an election cycle, a lot of people tend to keep that habit going forward. So, I mean, if you only convince like one or two people one election cycle to get up and participate in democracy, Mm -hmm. you know, that thing they complain about all the time. Um, It turns out that those people will then continue to do so and then you get more people, like one or two people a cycle. So every year or so, you keep doing that. If you and multiple other people are energizing more voters, you don't have to be a big content creator to get people to get up and do shit. Oh, absolutely. It's like a snowball effect. Like, yeah. you know, if you motivate someone to go out there and vote, like, there's they a good chance they're going to bring some friends to the poll, especially mm-hmm. if you can encourage them. Like, bring all your friends, like, get the vote out. Um, those people are going to talk to their friends, talk to family, coworker, et cetera, especially, like, yeah. if you made a real impact on them, like, uh, me and Matt Bender, we, we had a great interaction with this older couple. Mm. Uh, they were kind of like undecided going into it, uh, probably Latimer leaning based off of the ads they'd seen. Yeah. They were, they were pretty concerned there about the fire alarm incident. There has been a lot of money put into those ads. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. kind of crazy for a primary. Yeah, and well, that's, what, that's one of the things we talked to them about was just like, you know, it's kind of crazy just how much of this like Trump supporter donation money, millions and millions of dollars, 20 million plus spent this far on oh. advertising for Latimer. And like, you know, why is it you think that like these Trump supporters, these Trump billionaires why donating they, all this money. Why are they voting money? for a Democrat? They didn't suddenly have a, yeah, why are they putting have their money? a left shift. They're actually going, no, 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 no. That guy there, we're, we are purchasing that one. Yeah, like why are they putting their money behind this guy? And like, one of the really, really great things you can do when you're speaking to people in this kind of setting is you want them to, like, come to the conclusion themselves. Yeah, so you, you, can't, like, you can't feed them a, a mm-hmm. rhetorical you response. You lead them to the water, and then they're like, oh, yeah, that is really suspicious, like, yeah, like why and, this is and, going on. And you're on. not doing a whole, like, hey, do your own research type of, like, the conspiracy nutters mm-hmm. would do. You, you're going, hey, uh, here's this information. Mm-hmm. Read it. Process it. Hey, fact check it. Make sure that I'm not feeding you BS. Mm-hmm. And when you do... Uh, I think that the position is strong enough that I'm confident you'll come to the same conclusion I've come to. If you don't think that, Mm -hmm. then it's a matter of numbers at that point. Yeah, I I mean, like, we know that, like, kind of your median voter in these settings, like, what actually... 
tends to get them out to vote. It's like an emotional response. It's kind of like a vibes based what they've yeah. been seeing in advertisements. They they often don't know the intimate details of the election that they're in, and so no, a lot, really a lot just of highlighting are... some of these key issues and some of the key points between the races. Like you can really influence people and help them make better, more informed decisions. Yeah, a lot of people do walk into elections very, very uninformed, and that's not meant to be mm -hmm. insulting. That's just the general person doesn't have the time. Yeah, they it's like the, it's kind of, what, kind of one of those big differences between like the online politics and the in-person politics. Yeah, the online where, like, politics people, people get really, really entrenched into a position yeah. for online politics. Like, you know, somebody, their entire Twitter feed is going to be like whatever their, their favorite topic is about and just constantly getting into arguments about that. They, they know this, de this, this argument like some in of the, detail. Some of them do the arguments for fun. Like that's, mm -hmm. it's verbal sparring. Yeah. Them. And you know, for the people who like doing that, I'm not going to fault them for that being the thing that they enjoy. Right. But I, I will say that if, if you are online and you are passionate about these things, then obviously there's some kind of change you might be looking for, some kind of change you and might And also, find. if you're the kind of person that wants to do, go do in-person canvassing, if you're mm -hmm. interested in trying it, that can be a point you bring up with people because most people you're going to talk to in person they probably haven't even heard these arguments you're talking about. They probably haven't even heard about... Yeah, if you, if you like cutting your teeth on these arguments, then maybe go talk to other mm -hmm. people who don't know about these things that you care about a lot. Yeah, and, and like having that personal message, that personal appeal, something that you're passionate about, bringing that energy, that mm -hmm. friendly, warm, excited energy into canvassing, like that gets people excited. That gets oh, yeah. people... Like, well, because it leaves go, a good oh, impression why, on if them. If this person's really passionate about this, why are they... They, they're more interested in it. It doesn't mm -hmm. seem like, like a, kind of like a business sale. It doesn't yeah. seem like that where the person is, they don't care about the thing they're selling you, they're just trying to make money. Like the goal of canvassing is directly opposite of that. You're not trying to earn anything, you're just trying to make the world better in a way that you feel will help you and your family and loved ones and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So if you are, if that's where you are, you, you look like you're doing the job of a salesman going door to door, but people will tell if you're trying to sell them something mm -hmm. versus if you're going in and going, hey, no, this is something that I care about legitimately. I have friends who this politician would affect negatively. I have family who this politician would affect negatively. Yeah. These are the ways in which this person uh, will harm things around them. Mm -hmm. And there's this other politician who has a much better track record. Like for Jamal, he's got a really good track record when it comes to education. He was a mm -hmm. middle school teacher. He's cared about stuff like that. Policies that he's worked on have been to help with the education system. He's been good on trying to stop people from getting into the prison pipeline mm -hmm. afterwards. Like, so you can tell where this person's priorities are. Whereas when somebody gets 16 million from a foreign interest uh, pack, you can kind of tell where their interests lie a little bit, especially if there are people who really care about America, like they're very, very patriotic. Mm -hmm. That can also kind of help them understand who they are voting for. This person, uh, one person in the election, Jamal, cares a lot about American children mm -hmm. and their futures and getting them to be better, more informed versions of themselves. One of these people is taking money from a foreign interest group. I mean, even if you feel like you're politically independent, if you care about the country you live in, I mean, mm -hmm. that's, that's a selling point for you. Yeah, and like, clearly, I mean, it resonates with you, it resonates with voters. Like, we had a really big impact talking to people about, you know, especially the anti-Trump sentiment. Like, a lot oh, yeah. of the, the more yeah, liberal which types should be knocking is, on doors. Trump like, endorsing of the Democrats there? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, who, who does Trump want in office? Well, that's yeah. definitely more problematic for me. Yeah, yeah. If, if you've got a lot of these, like, vibes-based voters, like, the vibes there are bad. <laughs> that is the median voter, though. Like, yeah, that is the median voter. they're mostly vibes-based voters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because you, you, you can't expect people to be as passionate about this stuff yeah. um, when they, again, they don't have time to. They've got friends, they've got loved ones, they've got families. It's they've not got their hobbies. special interest. It's not their thing. I mean, it, but at the same time, it inadvertently affects them. Mm -hmm. And it just the idea of canvassing is to get people to realize, yeah, you are affected by these things. Um, and it's not judging you to say you should you know, get up, be motivated, go do a thing. It's like, hey... I'm going out and doing this because I care about it. I think you should care about it too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's a, there's a lot of really great ways that we approach this and that like they give us a lot of like scripting to kind of help us with the canvassing. Oh yeah, if you Just if ways you that like lower defensiveness and like help with like engaging friendliness. Yeah. And it, it's a really good time. Like I, I can remember like what you were saying, like doing sales. Like mm. I remember being in like elementary school, middle school, doing like the knocking on doors, trying to do like those magazine sales, that right? And me. like the, the responses I got from canvassing were way nicer. Like these people, they really want to hear about like what, you, what you're passionate about. So that, that <laughs> reminds me, I, so we had the script. 
mm -hmm. but I, I cannot work off of a, a script. I mm -hmm. guess it's the live streamer thing where like you're used to always shotgunning things. Um, so my anxiety went, yeah, but you need to have a guideline still. So I'm not <laughs> gonna lie, I just started writing out a guideline yeah. for myself Absolutely. while we were going door to door like, this is going to be the thing in case my brain locks up. Yeah, can we so get that in like a that. dialogue tree? Like, you, I mean, you can go as, as complicated as you, you want with You this. can do a whole flow chart with it if yeah. you want. You're just like, yeah, no, this is the Mass Effect dialogue tree we're going to work with. Um, <laughs> my, mine was just the, my issue is the starting mm -hmm. for me. And I know that's the issue with a lot of people who don't have a lot of uh, you know, training in speaking with people. Mm -hmm. um, the getting to the point where you are able to just begin the conversation, that's the hardest part. Yeah. So the I only mean, thing I wrote down was the beginnings mm -hmm. so that I knew, okay, this is the stuff I'm gonna have to say to turn my brain on so that I know what I'm doing and saying, wow, hello, you're a friend. You got a, is that a, like a fly or a bee in here? I don't know. Uh, he seems very energetic though. <laughs> the worst thing about having a distraction is having a group full of ADHD streamers. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you know, like there's, there's, there's definitely strategies that exist for these kind of like Hi, opens. Buddy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I know that one of the things that, that we had talked about in kind of like the strategy meeting was um, like if you notice, say like like any kind of like figurine or something like in a windowsill, like that's yeah, really a great starter. a great thing to talk about with an opener. Uh, like bumper stickers on cars. I know uh, I know mm -hmm. for Vosh there was a uh, there was uh, one of the guys he was talking to uh, had a really cool set of running shoes that were like luminescent blue, mm. and that was a talking point for him. I just also because Vosh is very obsessed with fashion. Exactly. <laughs> like, I just you just want to like so observe like, this is, something. This is the thing that you care uh -huh. about. Hey, here's the. Here's the common bridge for me. Like, obviously, my, my common bridge for a lot of people is going to be gaming. Mm -hmm. I think it's a great thing that helps people socialize. It breaks the ice for a lot of people. If I see something that looks kind of familiar, I'll just be like, hey, that's a, that's a Pokeball you have hanging up there. Yeah, that's like, really be on the cool. lookout for something that someone cares about. And, yeah, like, that's a like, really you, great you way hung, to open up, a, up a conversation. House. Obviously, you care about it. I'm going to have a conversation with you about it real quick because, obviously, I care about it. Mm -hmm. like, it's, and it's, it's not hard to do. It's just, it's it's a lot of improvisation. Yeah, and there, I, I get like it's, it's super nerve wracking, but like once you do it a couple times, you start, like, you're fine. feels a lot more natural. It's a lot like, yeah. I mean, I guess it's for, for me, it's kind of like when you start, when you do your first stream, mm -hmm. It's it feels very nerve wracking until eventually you're like, no, I just hit the button and then I go. Yeah. Like eventually <laughs> you just, and it's that, it's that first step. And it's a lot of that with canvassing is that first step. So long as you're able to, get to the area that you may be unfamiliar with geographically. Mm -hmm. That's a first thing that you have to get over. And then you're knocking on that door. As long as you can get yourself to the point where you can knock on that door, even if you feel like you might freeze a little bit when the person comes out, you'll get better. You'll Absolutely, get used to yeah. it. Absolutely, yeah. You'll mm -hmm. improve. And again, it's, it's doing it in service to things you care about. It's okay to have a handful of failures if you're just trying to improve at something that you think will make the world a better place. All of us should do it to some degree. Mm -hmm. I agree. And like, I mean, also the friends you make along the way doing canvassing. Like, that is the most we would often go up and, thing <laughs> we would also We would often go up in pairs and like having someone to help you kind of like rip along, remember some, some points, and especially then you can go out to drinks after little like data figures you want to go over. Yeah, we had this amazing we com had the community, community night last night. Yes. Mm -hmm. I know uh, Vosh was getting pieces of cheese off of a wheel for people. Uh, me and Saki <laughs> had a big Magic Commander game that was set mm -hmm. up in the corner that some of the people would just come in and like sit in on. Um, and don't worry, I promise the people that show up these events, they are as nerdy as you. Like you will find yeah. like you will find your people. We, I, I, <laughs> I took a I took a gamble that if I if I put me and my partner in one part of the room and just sat magic decks there and started a game, within a minute somebody would come up and say, yeah, Oh, absolutely. can I join? Absolutely. And that's exactly what happened. Uh -huh. Somebody came in and was like, Hey, can I join? And then as soon as he sat down and there was that one spot left, another person came over and was like Hey, what do you guys do? Hey, can I join? We were on turn two, and we were mm -hmm. just like, yeah, just take an extra turn to catch yourself up, and you are you're effectively dealt into our Absolutely. commander game. Like, like that's how friendships start. Like yeah, totally, it's easy. Like you just have it's a, it's that little icebreaker. Mm -hmm. It's that little icebreaker there. And if you're at one of those events, I mean, you can you can sit around and just kind of like vibe. Yeah, with everybody there. Somebody might approach you, say hi. Uh -huh. Who knows? And like, I know, like, we are really isolated these days, especially like you know, atomized. coming out of the, the the lockdowns and the and the pandemic. Like, we're so isolated, especially like the more and more we sometimes like the less and less we're doing yeah. in person, meeting new people, and it's just so important to have those kind of relationships, to have those it kind of interactions. It helps your mental health a lot. There's a yeah. there's a lot of stuff that I've been trying to to focus on in in my own career, mm -hmm. uh, letting people know about like hey, third places are important. Exactly. The, the yeah. idea that like 
you might have started becoming a work from home person because of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. uh, so now your, your place you socialize is online, your place that you work is the chair in front of your bed and the place you sleep is, is the bed there. And now suddenly your mental health is taking a, a, a nosedive. Yeah, and when you get in those habits, like you get really stuck in those places. And yeah, so it's, it's you, you need something, something new, something to change. And like the, Just, one of the cool okay. things about canvassing <laughs> and stuff like this is there, there's gonna be a lot of people who are like-minded around you politically. Knock, knock. Hello. Hey. Hello, I'm here Good to talk to you about uh, candidate Jamal Bowman for uh, government. Yeah, oh, that's, I love, that's I love, really cool. I love government uh, stuff. Have you voted already today? Uh, no, I haven't. Well, but I know I'm actually early not voting ready ends to vote today. This district, but... Well, this is my moment. Uh, what, we got to go do we... it. Uh, okay, cool. What, what day can we vote? Uh, today and uh, well, tomorrow. And tomorrow? And okay. One Tuesday. more day? Tuesday, yeah. Yes. Yeah, uh, Tuesday. Tuesday? Oh, cool. Yeah, I know yeah, you were yeah. supposed to tell us that, but that's uh, fine. Yeah, you, you, you got to do it. Hello, uh, what's I'm your name? I'm just going to uh, hang on here. This is overwhelming for me. Yeah. Uh, my name's, uh, my name's Chill party. Goblin. Nice oh, to meet you, Chill cool. Goblin. I'm Naomi. Name. This is my first time canvassing. Yeah. Yeah. shake both at the same yeah. time. Whoa, it's whoa, a, okay. skill issue. Well, there you go. Ah, hey. See. Whoa, it really is about the friends you meet along the way. <laughs> so wait, are, a, we doing, are we doing this character the entire time? It's a canvassing miracle. I don't a character. I think the last few days have taught me this isn't a character. Yeah. <laughs> yes, no, it's real. <laughs> it's very real, unfortunately. Uh, well, uh, welcome to the stream. Welcome nice. to the stream. Okay, How okay. you okay. doing? Uh, no, I'm good. I'm, I'm great. I'm glad to be here. What kind of, a, where, who's, uh, is this streaming on? Uh, so Do this is streaming on the Progressive Victory channel at the mm -hmm. okay. moment. Yep. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, so, yeah, that's where we are. That's the audience that we're chatting to at the moment. Uh, hopefully nice. a lot of members of our own individual audiences are there as well, showing support for the content creators mm -hmm. who are out here doing what we can. Uh, yonking it at home. We're yonk, so, yonking it at home mm -hmm. for Bowman while we yonk it here in Yonkers. We're, yon we're yonking it in the streets. Thank you. That's, we're well, yeah. Preach. We appreciate that. Well, that's okay to say, right? Do you want to, do you want to talk about what you do real quick since you're here? Yep. Uh, well, yes. So, uh, number one thing I do is, uh, tell people to go vote and, uh, -huh. uh uh, number two thing I tell people to do is uh, go to subscribe to Chill Goblin on what YouTube. What do you do on Chill Goblin on YouTube? I just ask people to subscribe. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I do. Oh, uh, nice. Yeah. I do oh, video cool. essay, video essay content. Oh, God, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. I, I, I knew thinking, that would be. That I was, was, I was thinking I about subscribing. What would you What would you say to someone like hmm. me who's thinking about subscribing to Chill Goblin on YouTube? I'd say now more than ever in these divided times, mm -hmm. we all need. A, a, to subscribe to Chill Goblin, please. And uh, also, wow. uh, will that be the, will that be the beacon that brings us together? You know, I think I, I think know. that message really spoke to me. I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna think, go subscribe on YouTube right. I think I'm gonna right go. Now. Actually, my, I don't have my phone on me. I think but I'm gonna go as soon as the stream is done. You'll remember. You'll yeah. remember. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. I'm gonna go hate subscribe. Oh, great. Yes. Hey, listen, that's it's fine. It's the best. I, they usually, engage, that. They usually well, you know, engage more. That's the thing. Angry comments, they that, engage that's engaging in the algorithm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Every time yeah. I do a video like takedown of, of someone, I post it on that they, person's they are, <laughs> they are content creators, strongest soldiers. One of, really one of my like, yeah. like best performing videos of all time is mm -hmm. one that I just get constant hate engagement on. I do. Mine's yeah. a Matt Walsh video. Mm -hmm. I get ton every, every few weeks, I see another another like 10 comments on it. And I'm like, oh, that got posted on a Reddit thread again. Mm. Wow. <laughs> so I'm the only one here who hasn't had a Matt Walsh beef, eh? Uh, well, so, so mine luckily has been one way. Naomi, on the other hand, has had the, uh, the both ways oh, when yeah. it comes to Walsh. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. Yeah, you've got the response. Oh, hello. Yeah. That's bragging right. Stacey, we have, we hello. We have more guests. Oh, you weren't you weren't gonna you, you were gonna knock? Another uh, Yonker is joining the chat. I mean at least at least Chill Goblin here knocked. Okay, but the party yeah, was kind of rude. Without... Yeah, I did. Oh, okay, we have more people. Just, hello, who, hello. Who knows how to knock? In, so I'm, I'm doing that. Why does nobody knock? There's no fucking door. Did he found a door to knock on? Hold up, hold up, guys. I think I hear someone at the Whoa. door. Hello? Oh. We're not home. What? Hi, Who's hi. That? how you doing? I, it's, and then knocking that is a weird it's human some, walk. Some yeah. kind of a prairie dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> some yeah, kind of a prairie dog? He is a, yeah. No, a Canadian goose. A Canadian goose. Yes, a Canadian that's goose. <laughs> yeah. I guess that is that you are a Canadian, and I guess we'll go ahead and. Oh, fuck. Yeah, oh, man. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We're Whoa. destroying, destroying Have you guys seen this one. <laughs> Wait, is that your brother? It's my favorite You're show. like an alien, I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's yeah. your brother. Look at him. Yeah. in the wild doesn't work that well. So sure, it does. We're all working just fine. <laughs> Somewhat okay. under lots of medication. At 50% capacity on. At 50% yeah. capacity and 100% capacity on ibuprofen. <laughs> nice. All of us need it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're cool. We all took some ibuprofen before the stream. Yeah, that's nice. pretty, pretty it's cool. It's a little of too us. hot to just be. 
Oh, oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Raw dog. Yeah, we, yeah, we yeah. all like uh, railed a couple lines of ibuprofen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You crunch up your ibuprofen yeah. before are you I, Are you sure that was ibuprofen? I mean, yeah, I thought okay. it's, it's what you gave me. That, that's not how you guys took it? <laughs> Let's just say I don't get a headache no more. <laughs> My nose is killing me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it worked. I think everyone's supposed to help with that. Yeah. yeah. If you're in pain, you don't get help with that. So. What's that? Okay. Ibuprofen? <laughs> Voting. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, uh, Voting can take away the pain Voting helps with societal pain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Which is headaches. a big difference. No, I, I, inflammation. I, I don't think that, that saying that that's... That, that cell isn't working enough. That we cell isn't to, working enough. We need to actually. Oh, like, we need to bring it down to the individual level. No, yeah, voting will actually solve all of your life's problems. <laughs> Every we, single one of them. We need direct yeah. action, like going to Walgreens and buying <laughs> ibuprofen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, that's too radical. Sharing yeah. ibuprofen or with direct... your friends, asking Listen, ladies with whoa. big purses for ibuprofen. Yeah. Or they, direct action, like it. Pokemon going to the polls. Dude, oh, voting God. rules, like, okay. like that is the only. And voting thing. against Hillary's endorsed candidate George Latimer. Yes. Yeah. Voting Pokemon. is literally the only time that, like, the old, like, the type of, like, old ladies who volunteer there are, like, proud of me, you know? Aww. <laughs> <laughs> the look they give you. Yeah. It's awesome. It's the, the, the pro they're so happy. They're yeah. so happy yeah. that yeah. a young person, person is there. In. Yeah. Hey, I'm proud of you. Thank you. We're yeah. all proud of you. Nice. Yeah. That, that's the real reason I do it. Also, the sticker. Oh, oh so the stickers, stickers good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, but, so, but so the sticker that I get is a Georgia peach. When's the last time it's you guys perfect. have gotten a sticker? You, Chat? Mm -hmm. I'm in, I'm When's the last time Chat's gotten a sticker? I mean, really? Probably When's never. the last time Chat's gotten a sticker? Probably I mean, last time they went to the polls. Probably maybe. never. I can't see the chat, but I'm assuming everyone's just like doing like crying emojis in the chat, being like, I've "Because never they didn't had get a sticker, sticker in my life." Uh, how does it even stay you'll, on? Yeah. You'll get a sticker if you go to the Fucking polls. Losers. And guess what? Progressive <laughs> Victory. They also brought us stickers. We got stickers for canvassing. Mm -hmm. Cool. Wait, At least I one did not in my get car. This for Victory we'll have to get you on the merch. Yeah. That is unfortunate. Zero merch. That's unacceptable. Why does nobody knock? Whoa. <laughs> Who's that? He's a regular. It's a J schemer. regular. Some, oh, you beat me to oh. it. <laughs> the is back. I don't know what to do. <laughs> your best. All right. <laughs> That's the second. I, I'm blaming you are the doing your best. On this, one. this looks oh, normal. Yeah? Streamers strong Eat together. Them. Getting the, the, getting oh my god, your crotch is like literally in the camera for like two seconds. Strong, <laughs> strong enough to destroy the whole crotch. set. <laughs> we're making this work, I it's think. It's like we're like posing for a photo. Do you, do you need my knee as a backrest? What is a stream <laughs> if not a constant photo? What is a stream but a miserable pile of streamers? This is the first time you guys all came together for an event like this, right? Yeah. Yeah. Any yeah. other of the PV events? Uh, no, this is my first one. This is my first PV event, and yeah. really, really, I really happy. I had a good time, honestly. This is like the first Avengers movie, the good one. I would yeah. do it again. <laughs> it is like that. Except it's like really hot outside. At least in person. I, it was yeah. amazing. Wonderful experience, really. Yeah, it's been, it's, yeah. it's well, no different than, it's no different. It's 93 degrees outside, and there was a lot of hills. I, okay. I, will, I will at least say it's actually a little easier than lobbying. It's it's been easier than lobbying because it because with lobbying you're like oh that man's dressed in a really you go big to, like, suit. The Capitol and just yeah. like, harass politicians. I, do 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 it with a group or you just go by yourself. Uh, the first time I went was with and the the one time that I've done so far was with Georgia Equality, uh, mm -hmm. so it was with a group and it was because there was a uh, Narcon bill that they were pushing through. All right, like, you guys to the next one. I'd like to. Oh, oh absolutely. Course. I mean, we have to get the invite. Other people coming? I'm going to come even yeah. if I don't I get mean, invited. We the aren't the ones in charge of that. <laughs> when and where is the next one? Are people going to volunteer that are not streamers? Oh, I would Absolutely. hope so. Yeah. yeah, we had over 200 here at yeah, this event. There was a lot. Mm -hmm. yeah. I also have a lot of content creator friends who aren't streamers who would like who would love to come if we set up that structure for TikTok and Instagram yeah. creators too. Yeah. Yeah. If we can get more people involved, like Why that's kind of the idea. If we have like a cool setup like this for like TikTokers and Instagram, like that would be really dope. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's get that girl that does the uh, ice cream so good. Oh yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. She would be great. I wonder if that was so is, good. Even is she, yeah. does she do politics or does she need to be, do the NPC thing? Everything's political, especially NPC. Especially uh, video games. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They say Especially the personal is political. Eating. Trust me, I work with a couple of agencies that do like progressive like content creators, and I've gone to their events where there's like lifestyle, clothing, just like, every kind just of creator everyone. you can think because of. Because if you if you offer money, okay, yeah. can I get you guys like one by one go down the line, tell us about your favorite thing about the event, what you're looking forward to if you do it again, 
and what you're going to do, maybe as you're, you're in your role as an influencer to help people understand that this is politics and action, that sort of thing? Sure. I guess we. I guess I'll start since I said words. That was that was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I think my favorite part was the community night. Uh, one of my favorite things about content creation is just the communities that it builds. I like talking about mental health and how bringing people together helps a ton in keeping people, well, together both mentally and physically. So I think the community building aspect has been really really nice, uh, both from the content creator side the day before everything officially kicked off and the actual day uh, before we went canvassing with the community stuff. That's been my favorite thing. I think, the, I think the community focus is probably what I'm gonna keep pushing forward in content afterwards to try to keep people motivated enough to go out and try to make the world different. Joe Goblin. Hey, uh, what were the things again? I say what I, my favorite thing was and uh, tell people to come out. That's or something like that, right? Oh, whatever. Okay, I guess you just did half of it. Uh, I think that uh, my favorite part of the week I mean, uh, the last two days uh, was something that will be really <laughs> incredible. Um, <laughs> I, That's uh, not what the Pelopopter says. Scott. You're Sorry. Michael Scott. Who's got one while they do? Yeah, somebody else go. <laughs> Anybody else have one? I mean, I, I just got to reiterate, like, I think it is the community that's the, the best part of this. Like, yeah. I, being a streamer especially can be, like, really, really isolating. Like, you never meet other streamers, and yet, Ooh. like, I mean, this is my first time going to any kind of event like this. And it was just so wonderful to be, like, in community with other people oh, yeah. that do this weird-ass job. And also to see, like, all the canvassers building their own communities mm -hmm. and, like, getting to know each other, going out and doing something with all with all that energy with all with, with everything they've got fun. and like going going out to dinner with the people who've who yeah. did everything like it's been it's been a nice experience i, I would do it again i would do it again right. mm -hmm. would again at the ground, to here i i can i can redeem myself i can, oh, man, I, can I feel go. like we're in high school again uh, everybody's on the spot yeah no this was uh oh i forgot it wait no okay i can i can do this for you me. got it i believe in uh, you I, um, I think this has been really an interesting experience. You know, it's, it's one way to try and create change, to go canvassing, you know, encourage people to, to go out and vote. Uh, so far, I've been trying other strategies, like reading uh, in books, like what would be a good world, and then being like, oh, huh, yeah, I agree with that. And I think that is a good thing to do, too. Uh, but it's also good to, like, talk to people in real life and, uh, you know, get out of your house, meet up with some of the uh, streamers that you spend 12 hours a day uh, watching, maybe take a bath in between those two things. Mm -hmm. And, Please, uh, or two. we beg just, of you. It was just really cool to, to kind of meet up with all these people who, you know, you see in the chat, but, you know, it, it's like having, like, uh, the, the, the computer come alive. I don't know if this makes any sense, but it was really interesting and, and uh, a cool experience to meet all the people who came out from watching streamers and YouTubers and, uh, yeah, just feeling kind of a, a real sense of community. You know what I mean? That's what I liked. That's pretty good, right? That's why I need like the extra time. That's to a think good, about it. good answer. You you I did it. I you knocked it. You knocked it out of the park. I nailed it. It was that. a small park, but you oh. did it. I'm proud of you too. <laughs> I think I think it was cool because you know I watch a lot of elections and like uh, Democratic primaries and stuff through the internet and like see what's going on. Um, and you know this election I think is generating a lot of online like interaction and stuff and a lot of times whenever I see stuff like that it's like man I kind of wish I was like there to like at least like have a closer look of like what's going on mm -hmm. in the area and it's cool to be like yeah I, I tried to help that guy you know like whether or not he actually wins on Tuesday um, it, it's nice to be a part of something and then also I feel like we're we're helping build something that'll help progressives in the future all right who's yeah. next um uh, my, my, uh, wasn't just the community aspect, <laughs> but, uh, also, uh, yeah, like, I, um, yeah, I really, it was really cool being able to be sort of, like, involved in, like, yeah, actually, like, sort of trying to help, like, yeah, uh, make some actual, uh, change, or at least feel like, yeah, like, you're getting involved in stuff and getting out of your room. Uh, also, um, yeah, like, uh, Swablay Zizek, uh, said, I think that, um, uh, huh? Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's where we take, are. Get a take that um, every um, everyone on Earth should be uh, should vote in American politics except for Americans. And <laughs> you know, as a Canadian coming over here to do that, I feel like I took came a step closer to creating that world. So yeah, are I think you, that this was a radical act. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. For four interests. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Now you guys don't vote, but okay, I see. Yeah, yeah. I'll make sure not to. Yeah. Yeah. I, I can piggyback off that. Um, I enjoy as the fellow Canadian. I guess you could. Intellect, the foreign election interference. That's, yeah, that's what I was here for. Um, but you know who shouldn't do foreign inter election interference? Israel. Okay. <laughs> you can just say it. APAC. No. That's not what I said. No. <laughs> Yeah, I guess you're going to own it. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to top that, but um, I do feel like every single one of us here have created a community that is really dedicated to trying to help the world, and we just don't really have a way to bring them out and actually practice that, whether it's donations or signing up to Canvas. Um, and so I think events like this really allow us to tap into our community and give them a pathway because a lot of people want to help, they just don't know how. And so, you know, I'm glad that there's organizations that are seeing the value in content creation because we work day and out to try to build trust in a community. And that community will go above and beyond to do what we ask them to do if we have that trust and if they've, all, they've been following us for a while and whatever. So. I am really happy with what you guys do, and I hope that more, you know, organizations understand that we can bring a lot of untapped value to the table. It just depends on who's willing to take that risk. That was beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Well, let's everyone give yourselves a hand. <laughs> Goodbye, Goodbye, progressive victory Goodbye. chat. Vegetables. Go vote. I love vegetables. Tuesday. Veggies yeah. are great. But more hey, I just quickly want to give a thank you to all of my wonderful patrons who keep this show running. YouTube and Twitch are a pretty bumpy ride at the best of times, and the stability a Patreon provides me is worth more than I can say here. I'd also like to thank each and every one of my $20 and up patrons here. And they would be Red Joker, Britzkrieg, Cameron, Dren, Gemshin, Smiling DM, Poundini, Mabity Babity, Naomi, Isaac, Nixie Chan, Agamotto, Jordan, Ravi, Juni, Kiratorian. Prisma, all of you. Sagittarius, I'm not saying that part. And Starlight. And finally, thank you to everyone else that helps keep this channel alive. While you're here, why not check out another video? And thank you for watching.